OpenAI has just launched their pilot program for ChatGPT+. This is the paid version of ChatGPT, and it gives you three primary things for $20 per month US, and that would be available even when demand is high, also provides faster response speed, and as well, priority access to new features. And you'll find the waitlist link here in this article that is announcing ChatGPT+. This was released February 1st. New subscription plan, it'll answer a lot of questions you may have, such as $20 per month. Gives you those three benefits that I just mentioned from the interface there. And then as well, look for the link to the waitlist. Clicking that link will take you to the waitlist. It is a Google form. It asks for your email address, what country you're located in, and how you're using ChatGPT. And then asking you if you want to be emailed when ChatGPT Plus becomes available to you. There's no word on how long the waitlist lasts. I know that I was in it for less than 24 hours before receiving the email that I was going to be allowed in. They do answer that question here as far as when can I get off of the waitlist? And it's saying we're inviting users in small groups based on capacity and availability. And they don't have a fixed schedule, so they can't tell you exactly when you'll get your invite and they do encourage patience. Other things that you may be wondering about with the release of a paid version of ChatGPT by way of this ChatGPT Plus is will there still be a free version? Answer is yes, free access to ChatGPT will still be provided. And OpenAI, the parent company and creator of ChatGPT is figuring out ways to monetize and generate revenue because there's been a tremendous amount of money and time and effort invested in this amazing tool. And so then as well, there's other answers to questions such as refund policy. And so whenever you receive an email, you can click through there. You'll need to set up a payment method. And then there will be a link here about upgrading to ChatGPT Plus. And then once you've signed up and paid, then you'll have the My Account link here. And then here you can manage subscription if you're needing to cancel or change your payment method, et cetera. So I'm going to run this through the paces to show you ChatGPT Plus in action. I'm just going to use one of the prompts here that's provided as an example. How do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? And I'm hitting enter to send that off. So that would be a prompt inside of ChatGPT Plus. And so it's not lightning fast. It seems to be about the speed that I was used to, but I never know if that's because of OpenAI's servers being swamped or if it's just the simple fact that I'm unfortunately a Comcast customer. So let me start a new chat and do another example here and send that off. And so this seems to be moving pretty fast, pretty snappy. I'm liking the looks of that. And so perhaps just the plain text is quicker to render than the code that we had previously in this conversation. We do a new chat and we do that third and final example of this middle one about creative ideas for a 10 year old birthday party. Let me prompt that. So tell me down below in the comments what you will prompt today and also will you sign up for ChatGPT Plus or not?